Subhash, to understand consciousness, must we inculcate quantum physics in a, in a different way than we would have quantum physics in everything? Quantum physics uh, has two basic uh, axioms uh, which set it apart from classical physics. Firstly, superposition, that uh, mutually contradictory attributes can coexist. But then when we interact with a quantum system, there is a collapse. And therefore, the question that can be raised is, is it consciousness of the observer which makes this superimposed state or the superposition of the physical state collapse into one of the possible components. And if it is, that is one way we can bring in consciousness into the picture. Mm -hmm. And then we can turn it all upside down and say that, well, consciousness is the uh, underlying ground, which is what makes it possible for us to uh, understand what physical reality is. Now, we can also uh, make the claim that uh, all that we know about the physical reality actually lies inside consciousness because we cannot go out, for example, and uh, reach the stars or, or actually physically see them because all of this are conceptions created within the inner space of our minds in, in within our consciousness. And therefore, clearly, these are two sides, complementary sides of reality. And, and therefore, in order to make sense of it, one must use the other and, and use that in order to understand the first. So let me go through both of them. First of all, from the quantum physics to understand consciousness, you're saying that the way that happens is that because the observer has to make this observation which causes the collapse of the wave into the superposition into one position, that therefore consciousness is involved in quantum physics. But does that mean that quantum physics is, is causing the consciousness? Well, uh, there, when we try... Can you have the consciousness without invoking quantum physics, even though you need consciousness, in your formulation, to make the quantum physics determination? Well, these, these are two complementary sides. You have the classical mind, uh, and you have the quantum reality. And one must refer to the other. You cannot just look at one in isolation. And therefore, likewise, you have a complementarity between consciousness and materiality. And materiality could also have uh, a quantum mechanical substratum to it. And we must use both in tandem together and construct the view in our mind as to what it is. And therefore, there is something which is eventually left to our own minds to construct about what our reality is. And that is the reason why the same quantum mechanical framework, for example, is interpreted in a variety of ways by different uh, scientists and physicists or uh, philosophers of science. On the other hand, you are saying that consciousness in, in creating the content of the material world is also creating the content of quantum physics, which sits at the basis of the material world. Is that right? Right, yes. So it, it must go in both directions in order to understand this relationship. And, uh, and I think you're saying that uh, it goes in both directions that you're sure of, but how it all works is, is still kind of a mystery. Right, because when we perform any linguistic analysis of all these narratives, you know, science is also a narrative, we find that all such analyses lead to contradictions and paradoxes. So that ultimately, at the deepest level of understanding, we will have certain paradoxes that we can never bridge. And uh, in some sense, it probably uh, reminds us of the Godel's incompleteness theorem, that if you have a logical framework, within this logical framework, if it's rich enough, there would be statements about which uh, uh, you cannot uh, affirm uh, with any uh, definitiveness as to whether that is right or wrong. And therefore, in my personal perspective, uh, the paradoxes that lie 
uh, at the basis of consciousness uh, are similar to the paradoxes that lie at the basis of quantum mechanics, as well as the paradoxes that lie at the basis of logic itself. Mm. 